Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is opposites attract with static electricity. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a plastic tube with a very thin uh, piece of plastic, not thick, uh, some styrofoam balls, and a wool cloth to charge it. So I've got my, at the local hardware store, I got a plastic tube. Um, it's just a little bit thicker than I'd like. Uh, so uh, you really want as thin as possible. If you go to a plastic store, or like tap plastic or somewhere, you get a really thin tube. Fill it up uh, just a little bit. I'm actually gonna put a little, that probably was fine right there. And I want a little bit too much hair. And I will be pouring that out. You probably want about half that uh, that I have in the tube right there. Um, and you'll see it a little bit later. So seal the tube and then you're going to take your wool cloth and once you have your wool cloth, you're going to rub the outside of it for about 15 seconds. Uh, this is going to charge up the inside styrofoam balls. You can already see they're starting to get charged up uh, doing the experiment before I've even started. So you're about 15, you go a little bit quicker, um, we'll charge them faster. But the idea is uh, rub with a wool cloth or your hair, something with a blanket, something to get the, uh, the plastic tube um, to charge up. Now we have it charged up, you can just take your hand and when you move your hand up and down on the plastic tube, the styrofoam balls are going to start dancing and jumping because of static electricity. And I'll tell you the science behind it. <laughs> So the science behind this is the um, we're tr we transfer electrons from the wool cloth to the surface of the plastic tube. Hence, that's why the plastic tube should be really thin. If it's thicker, it's harder to transfer that through. Rubbing the plastic tube with that wool cloth completes the transfer of the electrons to the surface. The electrons now are on the surface of the tube and are attracted to the protons inside the styrofoam balls. Here I'm doing it in slow motion so you can really see the effect as the balls are starting to jump and dance all around as I move my hand back and forth over this outside of the plastic tube. Opposites attract each other and hence the name of the experiment. So in this case, the electrons on the a negative charge are the surface of the plastic tube. The protons on the positive charge are the styrofoam balls. So when they get close to each other, the attraction makes them appear to be jumping and dancing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click thumbs up or to share. And uh, thanks for watching.